Everyone knows how to meal prep lunch and dinner, but the pros know you can't forget about snacks. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make two kinds of chicken wraps, Mediterranean, Tex-Mex, throw everything on a sheet pan, four or five ingredients, super easy. We'll wrap these in low carb and protein tortillas, and we'll either bake them on a sheet pan or we'll grill them in a grill pan. You got a high protein snack, you can throw in the fridge, the freezer, you've got snacks for days. I haven't calculated the macros on this, but I'm thinking 74 million grams of protein. Let's look at how to make them. For the Tex-Mex version, you'll need two peppers. I use a red bell pepper and a poblano pepper. Any peppers work here. If you are using a larger pepper like a poblano, you want to cut it into strips and then slice them in half. You want all your veggie strips to be about the same size. Do the same thing with a medium white or sweet onion, and then add everything to a sheet pan, kind of toss it all together, unravel those layers of the onion, and then set this aside. The Mediterranean version is even easier. Just add 20 ounces of cherry or grape tomatoes to a sheet pan and then set both of these aside. I will say you can add more veggies if you'd like and that will bulk up your chicken wraps. You'll be able to make more with less chicken. For the chicken, we'll start with five pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. A little, Get a little over five pounds, that way you can trim off some of the excess fat, connective tissue or skin and then cut this into thin strips. The size of strips is kind of up to you. Think about what size chicken pieces you want to eat in your wrap. I go pretty small, maybe about two inches in length, but don't worry if they're not completely uniform. You can kind of break these up as you're making the wraps later. For seasoning, start by drizzling over three tablespoons of olive oil on each sheet pan, and then add two tablespoons of your favorite chicken fajita seasoning rub. I kind of went in a different direction with Traeger chicken rub, just because I really love that seasoning. I think it works here. For the Mediterranean, I went with a tablespoon of Cavender's Greek seasoning, which is saltier. So be sure you keep an eye on salt. Try not to go over a teaspoon of salt per pound of meat you're using. And then you'll just mix all these together, get that seasoning over all the veggies, and then bake these for 20, 25 minutes in a 425 degree oven. You're looking for the chicken to reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit and nicely roasted veggies. Don't expect to pick up a ton of color with this cook method. You're just looking to get that chicken cooked through and then you can transfer this to a bowl using tongs. And I definitely didn't do this by accident and realized that you could probably save some time just running it through a strainer. I wanted to show you both methods. Whatever you do, don't throw these juices out. Put them in your fridge and you've got a great soup base for later in the week. Once you've got your juices set aside, it's time for some cheese. For the Mediterranean, I'm crumbling some feta for the Tex-Mex Cotija cheese, although you could use a softer melting cheese like Monterey Jack or Oaxaca. For tortillas, Mission Carb Balance Flour are great, and then Counter Protein Tortillas. We're also using that. Disclaimer, I am an investor in Counter. Now, if you need exact macros, I would highly recommend weighing what you're putting into each tortilla. You could weigh your entire batch, and then you divide it by how many tortillas you wanna use and you know exactly how many wraps you can make and what the precise macros are for each. Honestly, I'm eyeballing it here because we're not hardcore macro counters. We're just looking for kind of healthy recipe. I will mention that I like rolling these like a chicken wrap so it's open on both ends and then I slice them in half. If you wanted to go the full burrito route, tuck those ends, go for it. it makes it more portable if you're into that kind of thing, but we're going wraps here. Once you've assembled enough to fill up a sheet pan, you can throw some in the oven. You'll see back there behind me and continue rolling. If you want to use a grill pan or a flat top, griddle, skillet, something like that. I, I think I like that method better. You get a bit more color, a bit crunchier exterior, but throwing these in the oven to crisp that up, officially seal them, works just fine. And there you have it. Sheet pan chicken wraps, done and dusted. I like to slice these in half serve with dips. I'll throw some recommendations in the description below and a link to the full recipe in case you want to print it. Get a bunch of tips on other flavor combos, things to serve these with, reheating tips. I like to throw these in an air fryer at a low temperature. I think they might be even better left over, but they're freezer friendly, all that good stuff. So yeah, that'll be linked below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. We'll see you next time.